All right, an amazing art form is taking over the Lower East Side next week, and we're talking about puppets. This is so inventive. The International Puppet Fringe Festival will feature a variety of public performances and events over five days, all happening from August 9th to the 13th at multiple venues. And joining us now is the festival's founder, Dr. Manuel Moran, and puppeteer Brandon Schweda. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Thank you for thank having you, us here you. and having our friends here. Well, well let's talk to you about your friends, because when I first heard we're having puppets on tomorrow, I'm like, really? <laughs> and then I, I mean, I see this, and they're so, other than Celia, are so realistic looking. Yes, well, there are many different kinds mm -hmm, of puppets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these are actually a rod puppet. And, you know, we have also brought a mask. Can you tell a little bit about the mask? So this mask is uh, made by the, the master puppeteer and mask maker Ralph Lee, the founder of the New York Village Halloween Parade. So we are honoring him uh, during the entire festival. Yeah, he unfortunately passed away four months ago. Aww. So this, this festival has become more like a celebratory of his mm. life. Aww. Celebration of his life. That's yes. nice. Yes, That's it's nice. very beautiful. Uh, we're talking about 42 performances. That's correct. Um, 50, 15 countries. Correct. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. We have people coming from Israel, from Taiwan, from Hong Kong, from Mexico, from Colombia, from Argentina, from Canada. It's going to be fantastic. A feast of puppets for everyone. Hundreds of puppets, and puppets are not only for kids, are also for the adults. So we want people to come and enjoy all these amazing shows. It sounds like a festival for the whole family. Yes, it is. It mm -hmm. is. We have um, like so many different events, not only performances. And actually, I want to say that half of the festival is free mm -hmm. you know so we have four exhibitions we have our uh, puppet films mm -hmm. we have cabarets That's we right. have uh, round table discussions master classes workshops and the 42 performances oh, uh -huh. classes and workshops we do have workshops in the morning as, as well for the families to make their own puppets we have a, a mini procession we're gonna do we're gonna be celebrating Halloween in August oh. and we're inviting people to come and join us in that uh, mini procession on Wednesday August 9th okay. uh, where we start the festival uh, I have to ask you, what's the magic of puppets? What kind of, how do you communicate with a puppet mm. and tell a story? Well, you know what? Uh, puppetry is, an, is a very powerful art form. Um, everybody connects, you know, with it, with even kids. They even use puppets now in therapy yeah. because, you know, it's easier to talk to a puppet than to talk to a human. And puppets can do things that actors cannot do. So it is it's a magical form. Yes. That's wonderful. Can you give us a demonstration? Well, you want it? Well, I want to say Asuka. Uh, Azuka! <laughs> <laughs> and then here we have Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. We're going to be presenting actually the crazy adventures of Don Quixote. This puppet was made in Cuba by the great artist Senen Calero. These ones were in Granada, Spain. So, and we're going to have thousands of puppets there. Wow. Literally thousands of thousands puppets. Thousands of puppets. Yeah, well, in the exhibition alone, you know, we have four exhibitions. Wow. And each exhibition have hundred, you know, literally hundreds of puppets. So, please come and join us and see this amazing art. Form. Shadow puppetry, I, I did not know, is from Asia, right? That's correct. And you have shadow puppets we too, right? We have amazing, and we have actually a traditional shadow puppetry coming from India, a group coming from India, and also ha we have modern shadow puppetry, a, actually uh, local puppeteers. That's right. Uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, not to mention shadow puppetry. Many people don't know mask is one of the traditional forms of puppetry. So here's this this representation. You know, there's this is part of a production called Barnacle Bill, the husband um, that was presented by Ralph Lee back in the late uh, 1980s. So we have an opportunity to revive this puppet play written by uh, the Mermaid Parade founder Dick Ziggin. Wow. Um, so many opportunities to celebrate the career of Ralph Lee. I think Manuel mentioned the exhibition. There'll be panels with his company, uh, Meadowy River Theater Company. Um, it sounds, it so sounds amazing. Well, you know, you're so right because I'm embarrassed now because my guy. This, uh, hey, hey, this is, I'm fine. Oh, um, <laughs> this is, I use this puppet in a school demonstration area, and you are so correct. Kids connect. Hi there. And who is this? Okay. This is little Bucky. That's Bucky is my little puppet, and the kids will, the focus, it's laser like yes. focus yeah. right on the puppet. Yes, that's true. The and you forget the puppeteer. You start yes, focusing yeah. on the puppet. I am pretty easy yeah. to forget too. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. This sounds amazing. We really appreciate it. All thank the best. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so for having much. us. We, we wait to see you there at the festival. Thank you. <laughs> for more information on the International Puppet Fringe Festival, head to cbsdnewyork.com. We'll be right back. All of us. We'll be right back. <laughs>